We're on day six of our journey around the entire Hoenn region. After yesterday's exploration of the Route 111 desert and the subsequent collapse of Mirage Tower, our adventurer Carrot turns west to begin his climb of Mount Chimney with the ultimate goal of reaching Lava Ridge by nightfall. I'm slowly trailing behind, but there's no time to waste. We've got a long adventure ahead of us and the nearby Pokemon are getting restless. Day 6 begins with the southern side of Route 112. After my close call escape from Mirage Tower, I dragged myself to the desert outskirts and finally started up painting again. This is another one where I wanted to recreate the original in-game view pretty closely, but with some added depth. A simple tilt of the camera goes a long way with that. Or, uh, not the in-game camera, a tilt of my head in the very real world of Pokemon that I currently inhabit, mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm not alone. While I was wandering through this mountainous region of Hoenn, I bumped into two others, previous commenters from this series. I first found Anthony Tails traveling alone with his Swampert, a long way from his home in Brazil, sporting that iconic yellow and green soccer tee. We've both got curly hair, and soccer teams where I'm from in Australia also wear green and gold, so talking to him was kinda like looking into a mirror. He was on his way to Morville though, so our chat didn't last that long. While he heads south, I'm stuck playing catch up with Carrot, heading up the mountainside instead. Further along though, I ran into Steven Paulson, a true veteran of the Hoenn region. He told me about his first travels around the region, back when he was only 13. He's since filled up his whole Pokedex, and the final Pokemon for the longest time out of his reach was Smeargle, who he travels with to this day, sketching along the way, a lot like me actually. But with both of those new Pokemon crossed off of our decks, we've got a mountain to climb, so let's move on to... The Cable Car, up the side of Mount Chimney. Before we can see the top of the volcano, we've got to get a ride up the side of this mountain, and the only way up from here without an intense vertical hike is via the cable car, so away we go. By far the coolest part of the trip to Love Ridge Town is this view right here. Being able to look out over the entire southern side of the Hoenn region is just so cool. Getting to see how far we've come, even just since landing on Sleepport Beach and the journey that it took to get here, looking out the cable car window now really puts all of that into perspective. My first adventure through the Pokemon world was in Kanto, and some of my favourite Kanto Pokemon are from the Poliwag line. So that's who I've brought with me here today, my good old Poliwhirl. But stepping out of the story here for a second, every now and then I like to stream these paintings as I work on them, so with this one I figured it'd be fun to try making a simple animation that I could use for stream UI. Just a little 3 frame animation with me and my polywall travelling up the side of the mountain here. In universe, the blank screen up top would show the next stop and distance to the destination, right? So I figured I'd use that for a stream starting and ending display instead. Throw in a little extra movement of the cable car, a slight wobble in the breeze as we move up the mountain, and there we go! A simple little animation for starting off my painting streams. But now we're approaching the top of the mountain, so the next stop is... Mount Chimney! With the sun beginning to set in the west, there's a bit of time pressure now to reach Lava Ridge before nightfall. And I don't know about you, but getting stuck out in Jagged Pass in the dead of night doesn't really sound like the best idea to me. Stepping out of the cable car here though, the first thing I notice is the intense heat and that strong egg smell coming from the sulfur of the volcano. It's an odd scent, but I'm not gonna lie, I <laughs> kinda like it. It reminds me of my trip to Japan last year, visiting the hot springs up in the mountains. Up the peak of the mountain here, here, there's a crazy view looking over the edge. Mount Chimney stands a kilometre and a half tall, so you can see the whole region off in the distance way below. Back to the painting though, it's been a while since I've included characters from in the actual game, so this time around I wanted to bring May back. She first appeared in the Oldale Town painting with her Torchic, and then again in Cycling Road with Combuskin, and by now she's trained her team up enough to have a Blaziken by her side. I suppose Carrot's Grovile would probably be evolving sometime soon too, but I honestly haven't thought that much about his team before. I've been making it up as I go, but it might be time to try working a more concrete story into each of these paintings. This is about when the story starts ramping up a bit too, since Maxi's over here planting his meteor piece trying to reactivate the volcano, which probably isn't a great sign for what's to come, but I'm sure Carrot will save the day somehow, probably, right? Speaking of Carrot, he's back at long last, wandering down Jagged Pass. Honestly, doing the thumbnails for these paintings is probably the most challenging part. 
Once the actual painting starts, it's time to just turn your brain off and push paint around until it's done. It's super low pressure because you can only make what your subconscious is already capable of making, right? So for me at least, there's no pressure to make a really great looking painting at that stage, it really is just about pushing paint around. But with thumbnailing, it's pretty different. In the thumbnailing stage, you're actively deciding what direction you want to go in, what story you're going to tell, which angle you're going to view the scene from, the colours you'll be using, and all of that. So since you can go in any direction at that stage, the challenge is in finding which direction is going to be the most fun or interesting. So I guess for me, it just takes a lot more active focus, I can't go throwing on a YouTube video for background noise. Also, this is the first painting I tried doing on stream live, and I learned really quickly how much harder it is to focus on painting when there's an audience watching you every step of the way. It's fun, but when there's that added pressure to be entertaining, I don't know man, I'm used to just sitting in silence and drawing away, so trying to talk while also painting, it's something else. But it is fun though, so keep your eyes peeled for the next time I go live. Before departing Jagged Pass though, Carrot bumped into Nightmare Shadows, another commenter from this series. They were travelling in the opposite direction with their Bagon, heading off to Meteor Falls to look for more dragon type Pokemon. I wonder if we'll bump into them again once we get over there too. And now finally, we've reached Lava Ridge Town, just before nightfall. I wasn't sure what direction to go in with this one, but I knew I wanted to redesign the town just a little bit. I was thinking, this being a hot springs town, why doesn't it have a big Japanese style bathhouse anywhere? Again, I went to Japan last year and stayed up in a little town called Nozawa Onsen while I was there, and you couldn't walk 50 meters without running into another bathhouse or hot spring, they were everywhere. There was hot water constantly flowing through the town as well, down these little canals on either side of the road, I think to help melt the snow so it wouldn't block roads and people's driveways, but it was all just natural hot spring water flowing up from below, and it carried that strong sulfur smell with it too. Ah, I miss it so much, I can't wait to go back. But anyway, I wanted to try and work a little more of that vibe into this painting, so I gave the town a little more variation in its elevation, added in a bathhouse up the entrance of the town, and really tried to emphasize the mountains on either side some more. After arriving here though, Carrot's first First stop was of course going to be the hot springs. From there he had a great view of two local trainers battling it out up the back of town, Jerry the Insatiable and Moochie pitting their Agron and Dragonair up against each other. But that's not all. Do you remember back in day 5 when we passed the daycare and Carrot picked up that mysterious egg from the daycare man? It looks like all that hot water from the spring was just the push it needed to start to hatch, and lo and behold, wait a second, is that the Great King of all Cosmos? You know what time it is, sneak peek for day 7. Next time we're going to be heading off in the direction of Meteor Falls. It'll be quite the trek having to hike up through the soot covered mountainside of Northern Hoenn, but a trip worth taking. To slow down for a second though, when I first started this series, I wasn't sure how far I'd even get into it, I didn't really know how to paint all that well at the time, and I knew far less about making videos. The early episodes of this series are rough. But if you haven't seen them before, the playlist is up on screen now. You can also find all the project files up on my Patreon page for all of these paintings, along with a bunch of free wallpaper downloads of the paintings in this series. Check them out if you wanna, and uh, bye bye!